technically our fourth day that we've been in La Paz, but we haven't seen like anything. <laughs> so the first day we were here, the city's at like 12,000 feet and Kara got altitude sickness, so she laid Just in bed. a little bit. Then we did like this whole culinary experience but we didn't see any of the town. We just ate. And then yesterday we got back from the salt flats and Kara had a stomach bug, so we took it easy. <laughs> Me and La Paz really haven't gotten along, but today is the day. La Paz is like this super fascinating looking city. We only have two more full days here and we want to make the most of our time, so we have booked a walking tour today. So we are heading to the meeting spot now, but first we're gonna get lunch. And then it started raining super hard and we just came in the first place that we could find. And I think it's a really good spot. We got empanadas. Oh yeah, they have a different name. So it's not an empanada, it says, where is it? Saltina, is what they call it here. And I think it's with meat, carne. We're not really sure. We just started ordering things. E Yumita. We also got this version of Yumita. It's pasta something. <laughs> Gracias. So Nate read that you're supposed to bite the top of this off and suck all the liquid out before you start eating it so it doesn't make a big mess. Sounds super weird but I'm gonna try. Oh! It's juicy. It's so delicious. I feel like people are staring at me. Not looking promising for a walking tour. So I probably should have checked the weather before I booked the walking tour this afternoon. It looks like there's a 70% chance of rain for the rest of the day. We just finished eating. Thankfully, it's not raining too hard now. So we're uh, heading to the meeting spot and hoping for good weather the rest of the day. So another reason that we were excited about getting out today and the reason we wore our rain jackets is because this weekend is Carnival which is like one of the biggest festivals in South America. In addition to lots of drinking and dancing in the streets, we also heard that they have water guns and foam spray. So we came prepared. So if you see that in the video, you'll know why it's happening. Probably you've seen uh, Coca-Cola everywhere in the world. Inside this prison is not an exception because Coca-Cola has done a deal with inmates to be the only soft drink to be sold inside this prison. If you're looking for the brand, sorry, Coca-Cola only. So the walking tour is just starting. This big white building that you see behind me is a prison. The one that there are no guards inside, only guards around the outside, and they basically have their own little community. You have to rent your jail cell, they have jobs inside the prison, and it's where you can get the purest cocaine in the world. So, off to an interesting start. And now we're going to a market. Our guide also told us that if we video the ladies at the market without asking permission, that they would throw rotten food at us. So I have to be careful. Forever and it's still going. I still can't see the end of this market. Did you like it? Yeah. Very cool. It's nice, you know. Here, local people love it. This is the reason why we don't have so many supermarkets in the center of La Paz City. It's because local people prefer to come to these kind of markets because here they'll find better prices, 
fresh products and a bigger variety of products. I need two volunteers. It's better if it's a couple. Look at that. A Julita. <laughs> it's beautiful. Is she? The cats? Yes. <laughs> I'm sure she walks out every day. <laughs> yep. So, for sure, you want to go, you want to meet her, right? Yes. But it's not like you're going to go like, Hey, Julita, how are you doing? Now, come on. This is what you're going to do. Okay. You have to grab some rubs. Grab some rubs. Small ones, please. Yeah, great. Now, you just have to throw in some rocks. Show her you want her. <laughs> That's it. What do you think? Is he handsome enough? Yes. Mm, so you're going to turn, turn kind of flirtatious with him. So you grab your braids. Grab your braids. Moving your hips like this. <laughs> you're going to go check him out. And once you have eye contact, you're going to go like... <laughs> That's because you are shy. You have to touch his hair. Is it thick enough? Because Cholitas are always looking for men with thick hair. That means as a strong man, that's what I want. So it looks like this is the perfect man for you. Yes? Do you agree? Yeah. Awesome! So you're gonna turn around a bit. Yes, perfect. And you're gonna grab your skirt, your puppy skirt, and... <laughs> Cops for you. And that's how you're gonna get this man completely in love with you. <laughs> and we have a new American couple. Cops for them. Thank you very much, cameraman. <laughs> We got to be the volunteers on how the Bolivian people become partners. It was very fun. And now we're going to the witch's market where I think there's little baby llamas. He also told us a lot about this market. This is without a doubt one of my favorite markets that I've ever walked through. The women here, I, I don't know if like beautiful is the right word to describe it, but extremely intriguing. Not like I'm attracted to them, but it's just like my favorite market ever. It's also crazy that like there's produce and then there's pig intestines <laughs> and then there's underwear and then there's forks and knives. It's just all everything you ever need in one spot. There's baby llama fetuses hanging everywhere. Okay guys, now we are in the witch's market. Probably the most important uh, ritual and the most popular one as well is the one that you have to do when you want to build your house. But you have to celebrate this ritual because we believe in Pachamama and if we don't do this ritual to ask for permission to Pachamama to use this piece of land, she's not gonna be happy with us. And we may have an accident while we're working. That's something that nobody wants, right? First thing, I have to hire a Latiri. What's a Latiri? A Latiri is like a witch doctor, yes? He's, this man's gonna come to this market to buy all these amulets, colorful cottons, candies, um, herbs, and of course, the main thing that he has to buy is this, the dehydrated llama fetus. Learned a lot of stuff about llamas and rituals. Not sure that I believe half of it, but it was very interesting. Our tour guide just talked about this church for a long time. I honestly didn't hear a word he said because carnival is in full force in this courtyard. I was just trying not to get sprayed. It's crazy. Our, our group is getting so sprayed, so we're going around the back. Oh, you managed. We took the back way. Oh, nice. <laughs> 
We just got to the Lanza Market. It's the super local place to eat. There's all kinds of food vendors around here. If you want to eat, you drink something, this is the place. Here in Bolivia, we love to eat all the time. If you want to try some sandwiches, I would recommend you to try the avocado sandwich. Here's what you need to find the creamiest avocado in South America. Yep, you could go for it over there. <laughs> This is literally the biggest avocado I've ever seen. Like, it's bigger than my hand. <laughs> so, it's an avocado sandwich with onions, tomato, queso, cheese, and coca leaves. It looks delicious. Sounds healthy. And I'm pretty sure it's only five Bolivianos, which is less than a dollar. That's this. Cinco? Yeah. That's delicious. We had lunch right before the tour, but I couldn't pass it up. Right now we are in the very center of Bolivia. our walking tour we sat at a local bar and talked about the president and had a local drink this was like by far one of my personal favorite walking tours but it's also because La Paz is quickly turning into one of my favorite cities our guide Max was really good yeah if you come to La Paz definitely do the red cap walking tour we'll, we'll link it below and now we're walking back Try. probably gonna see some more carnival festivities along the way try not to get sprayed with foam Try not to get blown up by firecrackers. <laughs> Tomorrow, we're planning to like fully embrace the festivities, buy ponchos, buy foam. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Not ready for it today though. I need some time to prepare. I love a lot. That was gonna be our Chalita for today. And please, look to your audience. I don't see my to the camera. <laughs> okay, let's pretend this is a bowler hat, okay? And it goes like this. Yeah. Chilita wears the bowler hat like this, it's straight. Sorry, single guys, because this means that this Chilita is married. She will not show her cuffs anymore. But how about if this leans on one side or the other side? Oh, in this case, with lots of the guys. Because this means that this Chilita is single, widow, ready to mingle. In this case, this means that this Chilita is in a complicated relationship. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Kayla.